Thera is the southernmost island of the Cyclades group of islands of Greece in the Aegean Sea. In antiquity, the name Thera was given both to the island and also to a city on the island, an antique city on the ridge of a steep 360 meter high Mesavono mountain on the island. Thera was named after the mythical ruler of the island, Theris, and was inhabited from the 9th century BCE until 726 CE. Thera was founded by Doric colonists from Sparta, who recognized the strategic value of its location on a rocky ridge. The Dorians were one of the three major Greek ethnic groups who resided in ancient Greece, and also included the Ionians and the Aeolians. The Dorians, like each ethnic group, were different based on their dialect, use of the Greek language, and also by political methods. Herodotus, a Greek historian from the city of Halicarnassus, and Pausanias, a Greek geographer, gave accounts of the mythical ruler Theris, a descendant of the Phoenician ruler Cadmus, and the son of the king of Thebes, Otesian, who ruled over Sparta and Laconia on behalf of his underage nephews Eurysthenes and Procles. After they came of age, he founded a new settlement on the island of Callistae, also known as the Most Beautiful One, referring to the island, and also Strongyle, the circular one, which was subsequently named Thera after him. This name was also given to the city, of which there is archaeological evidence dating back to the 9th century BCE. Now the island also has the name of Santorini, and this replaced the name of Thera by the Latin Empire of Constantinople in the 13th century CE. Other names were also placed on the island, including Santurin or Santoron, when the Aegean Sea was dominated by the Ottoman Empire. The name Thera, however, was revived in the 19th century as the official name of the island and its main city, but the colloquial name Santorini is still in popular use. Now, Thera has a rather interesting island shape, for also being known as the Circular One. The geography of the island is made up of a caldera ring, which is the result of repeated shield volcano events followed by the collapse of the caldera. Calderas are sometimes confused with volcanic craters, and the word comes from the Latin caldaria, meaning cooking pot. The entire island is generally identified as Thera, but it's only the large island on the east side that is actually Thera, with the other islands on the west, Theracea and Aspernisi, completing the ring shape, with two islands in the center named Palea Kemeni and Nia Kemeni, which originates from the caldera. Their names simply mean new, Nia, and old, Palea and Kemeni means burnt islands. The island has erupted many times in its history, roughly 12 times, with four contributing to forming calderas, but the most famous of all the eruptions that most historians know is the Minoan eruption. Based on dating evidence, we are able to create a fixed area for when the eruption actually occurred, thanks to evidence throughout the region and also material culture through archaeological findings. Dating the eruption back to roughly during the late Minoan 1A period and late Cycladic 1 period. Further evidence, thanks to radiocarbon dating, examining the climate events of the northern hemisphere, such as tree rings and crop failures in China, and also ice cores from Greenland, dates the eruption to around the 1620s BCE, possibly 1628. The volcanic eruption that occurred on Thera was enormous, with an estimated 7 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, creating the channels between Aspernisi and Theracea, and between Thera and Theracea. The enormity of the explosion may have been one of the largest volcanic eruptions on Earth in the last few thousand years, and is identified as part of the 16-decade volcanoes by the International Association for Volcanology and Chemistry of the Earth's Interior, joining the ranks of other volcanoes, such as Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii, and also recent eruptions, such as Mount Etna in Sicily in 1992, 
and also Galera in Colombia, which erupted in 1993. The eruption released white tephra, or ash, covering the entire island with three distinct bands and layers, identifying four major eruption phases. First, the deposit of ash, burying structures with limited damage. Second, pyroclastic flow, destroying buildings that were not covered in the previous phase, and possibly producing tsunamis as a result. Third was followed by the beginning of the collapse of the caldera, further depositing ash. And finally, the fourth phase is the completion of the collapse of the caldera, which ultimately produced more tsunamis, larger in scale than what could have been produced in the second phase. In terms of the effects to the Minoan civilization who were living during this time, it has been thought that they were completely destroyed by the eruption, as the population on Thera was entombed within a thick layer of pumice and ash, rather similar to the effects of what happened in Pompeii. However, the population of Crete, south of Thera, may have been impacted in other ways, such as the tsunamis that were produced during the eruption, hitting Crete, affecting the coastal populations, as well as earthquakes and fires caused by these earthquakes that preceded the eruption. It is proposed that the Minoans were not completely wiped out, but were incredibly crippled by the eruption, allowing the Mycenaeans later in history to conquer the Minoans much easier. The eruption not only affected the immediate area, but the explosion was so large that it affected areas around the world. China has been claimed to have been affected by this very eruption, as it led to the rise of the Shang dynasty from the previous dynasty, around 1618 BCE, and records describe a period of yellow fog, a dim sun, then three suns, frost in July, famine, and the withering of all five cereals. Because the eruption was felt so widely, it is possible that the eruption was larger than originally considered, and expelled almost double the cubic kilometers in rock and magma, revising to 61 cubic kilometers in 2006 from 39 in 1991, and also producing around 100 cubic kilometers of ash. The eruption was four to five times more powerful than a Krakatoa, exploding with the energy of several atomic bombs in a fraction of a second. It is an estimate that upwards of 40,000 people were killed in a few hours after the explosion, produced 40 feet tall tsunamis, and created strange colored sunsets, similar to Chinese accounts at around the same time, and also dropping global temperatures for three years. The blast was also able to be heard 3,000 miles away now, there is a, an incredible amount of speculation over the connection that Egypt also felt the effects of the Minoan eruption. However, no surviving records tell of an eruption similar to that of Thera, and connections to natural disasters during this time that were depicted on stelae or other documents only speak figuratively and not literally, referencing the power of the pharaohs to overcome the powers of darkness and chaos. However, evidence of ash and pumice have been found as far away as Egypt and Israel, and the speculation of a connection of a more divine order began sprouting. The eruption at Thera has been connected to the stories in the Old Testament of the Bible, specifically the Book of Exodus and the story of Moses. The effects of the eruption could have caused many of the ten plagues described in the Old Testament in Moses' story, including the days of darkness, due to the ash covering the sky, blocking out the sun, as well as the plague of frogs, where the frogs came out of the water and overran Egypt. This could be explained by the tsunamis changing the flow of the Nile River, making the Nile Delta usually fertile because of all the fresh water before entering the Mediterranean, instead filled with salt water from the Mediterranean, causing the frogs to escape onto land. The changing of this flow of water could also explain the death of the fish in the plague of turning water into blood, as the water would also not be drinkable because it is salt water and no longer fresh water. There is a documentary film called The Exodus Decoded back in 2006, 
that attempts to argue that all of the plagues were caused by the Minoan eruption, and also argues that the eruption and the time of the story are roughly the same. Now, in addition, there is another connection that is more legend-based between the island of Thera and the eruption that has led to expeditions and huge speculations into the present day. But there is a lot of information here, so I'm going to save that story for another time. Hope to see you all next time as we go and examine a very legendary city.